A $100 billion opportunity awaits propulsion suppliers, but the winner of this race may have been decided 14 years ago when Delphi Technologies made a strategic decision. More on that decision in a minute. First, let's talk about the opportunity. What we know for sure is we're moving towards a world of more electrified vehicles. It's going to happen, and it's happening at a faster rate than what's currently being projected, which comes back to Delphi Technologies, why I love this space so much, why I'm sitting here. I've waited for more than 20 years for this moment. By 2025, 37 million electrified vehicles will be sold annually. That's 37 million out of 110 million sold globally, according to IHS. By 2030, those numbers grow to 50 million electrified vehicles. Power Electronics, an area in which Delphi Technologies is recognized as a world leader, will count for $2,000 value on average in those hybrid plug-in and electric vehicles. Europe and China are not only not stopping, they're, they're getting more stringent. They're actually accelerating their path. And, and in fact, Europe is already speculating on the 2030 limit, which is going to be another 30% reduction over the 2025 CO2 limit. And, and to do that, you need a lot more electrified vehicles, a lot more high levels of electrified vehicles, maybe even a lot more full electric vehicles to be able to achieve that. We said, look, electric motors, that replaces the engine. And that today is owned by the OEMs and most of them have a lot of installed manufacturing capability to produce engines and in the future we just expected that they were going to want to control that electric motor and the design of it and ultimately maybe even the manufacturing of it. With batteries, other suppliers had a jump on the lithium-ion chemistry and other potential breakthroughs. That left Power Electronics. We would rather stay in a space that was ours, that was our history, and that was electronics. We understood how to package a lot of electronics in a box, how to put it in a harsh environment, make sure it survived. We had a lot of experience already writing software to control that vehicle, to propel the vehicle. We couldn't see a big difference in what it took for an electrified vehicle, and so we made that our space. With all of that development, we went all in, and we kept working, and we kept innovating because we believed that there would come a time that we're here today, that big inflection point in automotive. Power electronics is very small today, so in 2018 we're forecasting I think around 250 million in sales, but in this year alone it's over a 50% growth rate. But if you turn the clock forward 10 years from now, certainly a bigger piece of what we're supplying will be power electronics for electrified vehicles. The race is far from over, and Gostansky and her power electronics team know it. 